Alright, welcome to the second tutorial on using Contract 2 to make games. In this one we're going to be looking at making a project but adding in some sprites. So we're just going to get ourselves started with our Space Invaders game. If you click on New Project and start with the Empty Project again, we're going to get started on uh, on making this. Now, um, we're going to leave, uh, for, for now we're just going to leave the default size of the window and the layout as they are. And uh, I'm just going to rename my project. I'm going to call it Space Invaders for now. And um, and we're going to get started now. We're going to look at how we import some sprites. And we're going to start with our player sprite. So one of the easiest ways, if you don't want to draw them yourself and you want to save some time, is just to go straight to the internet. So I've got uh, Google up here. I'm just going to do a quick search for, um, we're going to say uh, Spaceship Sprite. And I'm going to maybe add the PNG to it so that we see that we've got the transparent backgrounds. We click on images over here and we'll look for some of the spaceship sprites. Um, one little thing that you can look for is um, just so that you do things right. If you click on tools and choose usage rights labeled for reuse, you'll see that um, these ones have been labeled for um, people have allowed you to use them. Um, you can uh, change that around a little bit if you want. I'm just going to choose um, maybe this one right here. And I'm just going to save this image. So um, you see that you've got the transparent background because when it loaded up fully, you could see it, it turned into a checkerboard in the background. Some of them don't do that, so uh, you're best to look for them. So we'll just go with this one. Um, we're going to click um, Save Image As, and then we're going to find somewhere to save it. I'm just going to put mine on the desktop, and it's called... I'll just call it rocket and say save. Um, now that we've got that, how do we get it into the game? So um, what we're going to do is just, uh, as we did in the last one, we're going to double click to insert an object, choose sprite, and click insert, and then click anywhere. Um, when you've got that, you've got this um, the editor window for looking at the loaded, looking at the images or creating the images, and I'm just going to use this folder that says load an image from file. And then I'm going to choose the rocket and click open. You can see it's kind of massive right now. I'm just going to hold control and zoom out to see it. And I'm actually going to make mine face to the right because um, just because of the way that the bullets come out. So um, if you rotate it to the right, if you get an image and it's not quite where you want it to be, um, you just click rotate to the right or left and you can rotate it. So I want it facing off to this side. And um, it's already cropped pretty well. If yours isn't, just make sure that you click the crop so that we don't get extra space around the outside. And we're just going to close that. Um, way too big right now, so I'm just going to push it much, much, much smaller and put it onto here. And uh, then we've got our background image. So when we insert the background, we're going to put in the background as a tileable texture. So we're just going to try and find one that we can repeat, that will repeat. So I just did a quick search for space background tileable. And um, I see this open game art. These are all uh, free textures. So I'm just going to use this one. I'm just going to right click save image as like we did the last time and then just save it um, anywhere and uh, jump back into uh, Construct 2. Now I'm going to insert this like I insert any object. So double click. And this time instead of sprite, it's tiled background. Click insert and then anywhere I want. And then we just load like we did last time. Load an image from file with a little folder and choose the uh, seamless space one. Now I can just happily close this. Um, the good thing about the, the tileable images is if you make them bigger than their original size, they'll just, they'll just uh, repeat so you won't really notice. Um, one little tip here while we're doing this is, I, I'm not sure if I can get this exactly right just by dragging it in, so I'm just going to type in the right values. So I'm going to say 0, 0, for the position, and if I click anywhere, I'll see that the layout size is 1708 by 960. So let's just type that in. It's 1708 by 960, and press Enter. I know it fits exactly to my layout. Um, the next thing we're going to do is uh, you'll notice a big problem here where the sprite is hidden behind the tile background. And that just gives me a chance to show you about layers and uh, moving things to different layers. So right now the um, the background and the sprite are on the same thing. If you need to swap, uh, move them up and down in order, you can right click on them 
and choose a Z order and move it to the background is going to go to the back um, which means that the sprite appears um, the problem with it if I leave it on this layer is that I'm going to try and click things and I'm going to keep selecting this so I want to move it away onto a layer so that I don't so I can lock that layer um, just like you do in Photoshop or anything so I'm um, just going to create those layers you find it over on the right hand side in the project panel there's a little button for layers um, we've got the layer thing here and the layer 0 is a terrible name so I'm just going to click on that and then hit the pen to rename it I'm just going to call it BG for background and I'm going to also then create my game layer so the same thing click on the layer name layer 0 uh, click on the pen and just call it game so I know which which layer um, I'm going to use. Um, if you click on any one of these objects you'll see on the left hand side it will show the layer that it's on. So I want the space background to be on the background layer but I want my spaceship here to be on the game layer so I'll just click on the layer use the drop down and click on game um, and that way I'm, I'm sure that they're on the correct layer. Now to lock a layer it's just a little padlock here so I know the background is good we've got the tiled background on it only and if I click lock then I can't accidentally click it no matter how many times I try. Um, so there we go we've got our spaceship and we've got our background. Um, we're just going to quickly add some behavior to the spaceship uh, so that we can start playing our game and then we'll do bullets. Uh, so right now we want this to move so we've got to give it a behavior. We click over on the left where it says behaviors and click plus. Um, we're going to do um, three simple behaviors for this one. So first of all we're going to look at the 8 direction one and click add. We're also going to want the camera to follow this one so I'm going to click um, scroll to which will mean the camera will follow and the last thing I want to keep it inside my layout so I'm going to click bound to layout and click add. So those three things will give it some kind of behavior. If you play this right now you'll see it's not exactly what you want. Um, the movement keys um, will make the spaceship move but it'll also make it turn and what I'd like to do is to keep it so that it doesn't turn um, around. I want to keep it facing to the right. So uh, we'll just close this and go back to construct 2 and I'll show you how to do that. Any of the properties of any of the behaviors can be seen on the left. So if you click on the spaceship you'll see that it's got a behaviors eight directions behaviors over here and the directions is eight directions and that's fine but it says set angle so what I'm going to do is just change that to no um, and that way it will definitely only move right left but it won't set its angle as well that's exactly what I'm after um, we're going to do shooting in the next video so um, what I want you to do is to try and go on Google and try and find a laser sprite or a bullet sprite that we're going to use and also so because we're going to be shooting something try and find an enemy sprite and we'll start that video with you hopefully having an enemy sprite, a bullet sprite and your player sprite.